I'm sitting on my bed, sitting with the hundreds of other dreamers, working with every scrap of strength they possess, working for that, for, for that pay that will make our fathers the least bit proud. And I stop, and I think to myself, what is it we're working for? Other than that measly pay of one, maybe two dollars a week, what drives us? What drives us to work our butts off and return a few pieces of paper to our mothers and fathers after working hours and hours, leading us to strain in the brink of failure? So what other way could a 13-year-old girl like me ask other than finding out? I ran down the halls of that prison I live in, asking every able-bodied being that one question. And all I got were simple shrugs, as if their matter at hand was more important, as if my question was only a flaw in their oh so perfect plan to accomplish greatness in their lives. And just as I was about to give up, I saw that man. That man in the back of the room watching me every second so he can get more of that golden paper. So I asked the monster under my bed, and I get four words. Four words that send me to that hole full of the monsters and the never-ending screams. The four words that dance around me every time I get up sore and broken in the morning. Because I'm told to. Because I'm told to wake up, work, eat, work, work, work. And again, and again, and again. And I think to myself, who? What has the power to tell me and hundreds of other girls to live our lives? To us the scars we will carry for the remainders of our lifetimes. Ears, hair, limbs, fingers, toes. So who? Is it that demon that locked on my door? Or is it my pa that decided to send me here because he thought it was beneficial for me? Or is it the lack of comprehension that girls my age need to be free? We need to run in fields, not run from monsters. We need to dream, not be forced to think inside the box. We need to let our hair down, not force it up, and, or else face the worst fate. One day, just one day, I want to make a decision for myself. Something that will surely benefit me in my life. Not that someone's telling me what to do. And if I somehow scrape up enough savings to make a living, won't it be the same? Someone like me is limited. Women are limited. Limited so no one can see the abilities I will never know I have, because I'm stuck at the bottom of the food chain. And even if I try as hard as I can to make a stance, it will only cause a small knot in their monstrous way of life. But I will always remember one thing. If there's one knot in the cloth, it has to be thrown out. And just enough knots will tear down the thought of tying me down. But for now, I'm just going to sit down and wait for my time to come alive. But not because I'm told to.